hey lovelies welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are all doing well and staying blessed this week's video is gonna be very short and in two parts we all went to the dentist recently to get our teeth cleaned and there's not much footage of this as i wasn't recording while this was being done and let's not talk about how expensive these things are it really makes you have to wonder how the average person manages because just to clean is fourteen thousand dollars thank god for your little health card I got tired of the navy blue in my room, so I need to take the curtains down and of course I'm going to change out the floors and stuff like that. I don't know what exactly I'm going to do yet, but I'm going to be doing something. So I have some old, well them not old, but curtains I've bought in the past. I have a few here I'm going to choose from. I really wanted to get something different on the weekend, but I couldn't find anything I really liked. I think I bought this on Impulse. I'm not sure if I really like it. And it was all of $3,100 for one panel. One diggy diggy panel for $3,100. Did y'all just hear me? Hear me extra, but it's blush pink. Um, I'm going to pair it with this that I bought some time ago. I can't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to take up on myself or why I bought that color because it's hard to get it to really blend back with anything that I have here. And I really don't want to put any purple and pink. I mean, I think my head could have managed purple and pink. I couldn't handle dealing with that to stare at for so long. Then I have this mint green. It may not look mint green on camera, but it's actually mint green. Then again, it's only two pieces. I don't know what to pair that with. And I put five pieces at my window here. Although I can always minimize it and probably put four. And if I really want to stretch it, I'll just put three. But let's see how that goes. And I was also searching for a painting on the weekend. Could not find an appropriate painting to take that one down. And if I take it down, it's going to have... It's going to leave the obvious holes and screws and i don't want that to deal with either so i really don't know how i'm gonna work around it just yet wait this is what i have working with at one point i contemplated using gray and gray and white but then i said nah i also have these but i i don't like them for the room at all and there's a story behind this particular curtain. I won't be using this, of course, but when we just got the house and we moved here, like this is what I could afford to buy at the time. We didn't even have curtains in the living room and that's a story for itself. I promise I'll tell you guys that some other time. But this curtain is very sentimental to me. It reminds me of where we started. And sometimes, as I'm saying, room never been in a one day. That is so true. We'll never build in a one day because I have curtains to kill right now. And some of them I may never ever use again. But it just goes to show. Then I also bought I bought this for the bathroom. The bathroom. Um for my bathroom. And this was two thousand seven hundred. Hold on. Let me see. I don't know what I'm going to pair it with as the... Why am I tell somebody just go and buy and I stop for think like not good. Really not good, Tashana. So I may pair it with this. This is not my favorite shower curtain, but it will have to do. I was thinking about this one too because I wanted some bright colors, a pop of color for spring. Something for just to lively up the place. And this isn't bad, but it doesn't blend. It doesn't blend um, wait there, with the shower curtain. It's off. So stay along for the journey. As per usual, I'll be right back. Morning. So this is what the shade of curtains look like in the daylight. Cause you know, sometimes at night, 
can throw the colors off. But yeah. So this is the one I had bought, the blush pink. At first, I didn't really feel the look, but then it started to just creep up on me, and I think I'm liking it now. It's a bit light and subtle, so it doesn't give that heavy feeling like, you know, how dark colors can be, but I'm embracing this right now. Luckily, I have a few things that works well with this color scheme that I'm currently working with right now. So over a period of time, you know... After much mixing and matching, I'll see what works with what and what I need to just omit overall. But for now, this is what it is. And please, the candle on the bed is just for decor purposes only. Please do not go light a candle and leave it on the bed and say, yes, let me do it. This is not lit. Again, it's just there for decor purposes only. And as you can see, I still haven't gotten around to changing the bathroom colors yet. So until then, I'm still working with this color I hate to see. But this is just to show you how the curtains are that I put up recently. I did tell you guys that this video was really short and we've arrived at the end. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Enjoy the rest of your week.